Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Suicide Squad game and not just that, but the fact that it is actually an Arkham game. <laughs> now, that sounds crazy, but this is basically what the game director himself said. Let me just play a portion of his interview that he did at the DC Fandom event and actually play that for you so that you can hear for yourself. So listen excited and proud to be able to reveal Rocksteady's Suicide Squad. You know, it's a unique new franchise for gaming and we've been able to put our own spin on it and create something really special that I think gamers are going to love and enjoy. Obviously, it's brought to you by the team that created Arkham Asylum, Arkham City and Arkham Knight. And in fact, this is a continuation of the Arkham verse. So a lot of the through threads and the storylines you're going to see come to fruition in this game. So we've been able to combine all of that core DNA with some really great, unique innovations and create what we think is going to be a totally original gameplay experience. It's quite amazing, though, that this is basically the plot line of the game, something that's actually going to culminate the Arkham Asylum, Arkham City and Arkham Knight story. Is that like, isn't that crazy to think that these developers are actually working on that timeline and they really want to bring this game to fruition. There are many aspects of this interview that Stefton Hill did, and it's really interesting to see how he's really excited about the game. He made some allusions, though, over the course of the interview that they wanted to make uh, Metropolis the fifth character in this game. So I think they had been pining within their studios to bring something about Superman. And this might be a way to open the door for them to probably eventually get that game down the road. But if you think about what we have, I think what's going to happen is this game probably spans, you know, all the events that have been going on after maybe Arkham Knight or maybe one of the Arkham games somewhere in between or even maybe continuing, but is going to probably bring a payoff for Arkham fans and even DC fans. He said in this interview that he's he and his team have built this game as a love letter to DC fans. So it's probably going to be a lot of retconning or all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, we already see that, you know, Deadshot is <laughs> some people are asking, why is Deadshot black? I'm like, well, I do not know. I do know from the TV series that the Deadshot that we have there, I think, is black. So I never necessarily even thought about, well, other depictions of Deadshot have not been black. So we're probably going to be seeing some mixes and, you know, some different directions that they're taking. But also understand they kind of have owned the Arkham world in the video game development side. I mean, they've tried their best to kind of make sure like, you know, from Arkham Asylum, they follow Grant Morrison, uh, you know, with his art style and the way they designed the game. But you know one thing about, you know, these Rocksteady uh, guys and gals, whoever is theirs, their writers usually put a spin on all what's going on. So it's crazy to think that this Suicide Squad game is actually connected to Arkham. I mean, I list, I heard it in the, in the interview, but it was kind of in passing. I thought he probably just mentioned that, oh, this game is connected to the Arkham series. I didn't know that he pretty much meant that this game was going to tie together the Arkham series. So if you watch my last video on some of the details I talked about, I wasn't, you know, at the beginning of the video, I wasn't necessarily too excited about the Suicide Squad game, but I told myself and I told you guys that I was going to be coming around. But with this new details that I've just been able to pick out, having watched this interview for a second time, I just want to say that I think I'm now officially on board 100% with this concept. I was on board around the 80 or 90% after, you know, the gameplay analysis, but just listening to what Stephen Hill has said here is actually pretty cool. And another thing that a lot of people basically, you know, have not necessarily considered is the amount of, you know, villains that you're going to deal with. And in this case, they're the Justice League and their powers and how it's even possible for you to take on them. Because even in the reveal, they were doing the little section where the actor that revealed it was talking to all four of the Suicide Squad members and they mentioned something about Flash. Or do we get to kill them all? Even Flash. Yes, yes, the mission is literally called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. That is kind of the whole point. And well, who knows? Maybe this was a confirmation or maybe it was just a joke that Flash is going to be in the game. But I don't think that's out of the question. Flash is a member of the Justice League. So I don't doubt seeing Flash. I don't doubt seeing Green Lantern. I don't doubt seeing even uh, characters that, you know, you probably won't even think about like Wonder Woman, um, you know, or Hot Girl. Oh, my gosh, that's going to be really interesting 
to see who all is in this justice league coalition i mean aquaman and i think them kind of you know spurring this on might be a very good way to kind of pull out a justice league game that would not have uh, overshadowed injustice if you get what i mean so you know it makes sense that a Justice League game would come about after Arkham Knight. Think about it. Batman, you know, is is probably leaving, you know, Gotham City and probably going to hand over the cow to somebody. And then they plant all these clues about Lex Luthor and Superman with the Lex Corp towers everywhere. And so, you know, seeing them move into Metropolis just was, in my opinion, the natural progression. And I think if they use this story to get you to a place where they say kill the Justice League, but the game probably culminates in a place where where you know that you you guys the four of you cannot take on the justice league but you can probably in some sense take on brainiac by outsmarting you know the justice league or kind of thinking behind them cunning your way then you redeem the justice league members that probably opens up the door for those justice league members to have their own stories to have their own you know even their own games surfacing from time to time so all of this is really exciting stuff i just wanted to share this with you guys in the community and just you know let you know that you know the arkham is still going to be kicking you know in a very very strong way especially through the suicide squad game and this is actually very exciting i need to go and uh talk to my buddy that's a comic um you know encyclopedia and ask him where the storylines converge the justice league and um you know even the suicide squad and what culminates at the end so i can get my hands on those comics and read them and fig you know just kind of trying to figure out what's what's the you know plan behind rocksteady's uh game and what the idea is so anyways that's it for me thank you so much for tuning into the video if you enjoy the content hit the subscribe button uh you can hit a like button if you wish it really does help the channel a lot and i guess i'll be seeing you hopefully in another video peace out